Welcome everyone to the War Thunder game. My name is Iron Rifle and today we will be talking about bombing. There is loads of questions regarding how to do it effectively, uh, which bombs to use. Well, in today's video I will try to cover as much as I can. So, starting off, the good example of the map you will be playing as the, as the bomber is the two towns. Well, I did pull a screenshot, but it isn't great. Uh, there isn't uh, actual maps on the in the internet or on the uh, official game site, so this one was taken from the game. But let's work on it. As you can see here, uh, first part of the ground targets are about here. As I drew the line, they are very very good in uh, in the lineup so if you are playing the bomber well let's face it most of the uh, fighter planes will start in this mission with some rockets with some bombs and they will definitely go for those targets to score some initial points but if they are not well the best angle of approach would be either from that side here or that side from the C, from the B8 section, or from the D8 section of the map. So if you are able to fly uh, your aircraft over, over there, your bomber, well, that would be pretty good for you. And what you will be facing on the ground? Well, let's see. That's the typical setup for this cluster of ground, uh, of ground targets. As you can see here, you have four different targets. Uh, three of those, one being here, second here, and the third one here. Those are anti-aircraft cannons or the artillery. Either one of those can be destroyed with the machine guns or the 50, 50 kilo bombs or 100 pound bombs. Well, I will stick to the uh, to the pounds for now, so it will be easier. Uh, so, any of the 100 pound bombs will destroy these targets easily with the direct hit. Even the machine guns will go for it. That's why the fighter pilots always go for it. But there's the problem, and this is here. This is the pillbox. Well, the pillboxes are your bunkers and they cannot be destroyed by the uh, machine gun fire and uh, well I didn't destroy it with the with the cannons I only managed to score a hit against it but nothing more nothing less well to destroy the the pillbox you will need uh, I would recommend going for the 500 pound bomb most of the time one direct hit will be more than enough to destroy it and damage the closest uh, anti-aircraft or artillery station in here. But what I do recommend for you is getting as fast as you can to your uh, to your 1000 pound bombs because in the case of the 1000 pound bombs you will all you can always drop only three of them in the line. When you are approaching as it's uh, on the second screenshot in the direction that those targets will line up for you well one bomb will be, will be going on the first target second you will drop on the pillbox and the third one on the last anti-aircraft or the artillery station and those bombs uh, will destroy the whole unit on the ground so that would be the, the map. Okay, let me clear up those scratchings. And let's move back to the to the bombers. Well, as you can see here, I did unlock the B-17G version of the Flying Fortress. It's pretty new. And as I did say in the previous videos, uh, you need some unlocks to be able to strap any of different bomb loadouts. 
Well, you do start with eight 5, 000, uh, 500 pound bombs, and they are okay. But remember, invest some points into the reload speed. Uh, because one minute of reload with those uh, crappy load of loadout of bombs, you won't get much of the experience from the game. You will be pretty much useless in the ground strike mission. So, what can you do about it? Well, first of all, you can mount the talisman on the plane, which will increase the amount of experience you get uh, when flying the aircraft. So, each ground strike unit destroy, each air enemy aircraft destroy, will yield more experience. But if you don't have any free golden eagles and you don't want to spend money on the onto the game, well, the default bombers get the experience and reward bonus uh, with some of the percentage I believe it's for all of them it's actually 100% let me just double check that yeah every proper bomber in the US 3 get plus 100% except the last one except the Liberator gets the reward bonus of 75% but the B-17s get plus plus 100% in experience and reward bonus of destroying the targets and basically you will always have some bonus on your aircraft so as you can see here on my Wellington Mark III I do have reward bonus of eight, uh, 50% as, and as you can see the bomb loadout on this thing isn't that great 10 250 pound bombs well covering it to 18 250 pound bombs well this is more than enough to destroy most of the ground targets like in the two towns mission with only one pass so now moving on to the types of the ground targets you will be facing well, there are there are a couple of them. Starting off from the stationary ones, it's the anti-aircraft, artillery, and pillboxes. Uh, I did see a light uh, version of pillbox and normal version of pillbox without any any other writing to it. So that would be your three main stationary ground targets because most of the other ones are moving ones and the moving ones are all the armored cars light medium and heavy tanks and all of the sea units all the ships uh, in the two towns mission you can see that in the start of the of the game I will pull the screenshot again as you can see the the initial position of the ships, your ships are here, the enemy are right here. They are stationary, but as the game goes, they start moving to each other and they do meet and stop in place right about in the middle, right about here. Well, that's why I do recommend you first go for any ground targets that are ain't moving there are also some tanks in here and some uh, armored cars depending on the tier of the game you're playing and they will be moving towards the fight line well don't bother with them it's very hard to hit them from the from above from the high altitude bombers the uh, ground attack bombers uh, or the dive bombers have less problems hitting them so if you are in one of those well feel free to go for it first leave the most uh, more the stationary targets to your long range bombers high altitude bombers they will be uh, very grateful for that so moving moving on when those ships stop on the in the middle here that's your perfect chance to score some good hits against them and uh, 
they do tend to the bigger ships and the cargo ships do tend to yield more uh, credits and experience so okay as you can see here I will now go to the game I will try to well it's not something I can control but I will try to get the ground strike mission for you so I will pause the video here and uh, I will see what time of the of what type of the game I will get myself into and then uh, we will go from that I will try to show you some routes I'm taking I will try to show you some uh, techniques I'm using with the with the bombers when is the good time to turn back when you can go for uh, for some diving uh, and uh, l losing some altitude so let's go okay we did get ourselves the ground strike mission and it's the ground strike Asia well there are only actually two routes you can take to be an efficient bomber and I do tend to not like this map uh, very much because there are most of the ground stationary targets are just the anti-aircraft so most of the fighters will go for them initially leaving you all the mobile uh, targets like the medium and heavy tanks which is very hard to hit from how altitude. the main two routes here are in the well you can see the tanks moving in in the F7 and the F5 region of the map and they are basically the two routes most of the of the fighters will take uh, well from what I've seen the the fighters are also flying out there to score some good hits in the in the beginning of the match on some ground targets and they don't protect their bombers well, in the ground strike mission, remember to always try to at least give some sort of uh, of protection to your bombers and some sort of uh, understanding that the enemy bombers should be your priority. Okay, as you can see here, this S-79 is going very low. Oh, we did skip a few of those targets. Well that's my chance as you can see here a pillbox I will drop one onto him and I will try to always line up for as many targets as I can so I do have three targets in here and I will try to go for them I do have four more bombs so I will try to bomb those ground targets well with 1000 pound bombs I can hope for some good uh, splash radius and as you can see I didn't invest that many points into the reload speed on that crew and my reload is over a minute well I didn't score any hits as of right now start getting worried did they destroy or did I miss that file box yeah, I probably missed it okay 22 more seconds so and only few of those targets left in here so I'll try to go to the other side I should be reloaded for those targets this okay there's a pillbox so I will go for it okay another pillbox that's a target for me and I do have someone on my tail okay let's drop some more bombs and switch to the target 
Oh, and my gunners did they job. But I do have a hole in my wing, which isn't good. Okay, double strike surface destroyed. Well, only two targets destroyed so far. Let's see if those bombs hit. But I drop on the artillery section there. They should be exploding right about now. Yeah. Okay. So we did destroy some of the ground targets. Well, I do have two bombs left. Okay, no more stationary targets here. Well, I do see... Okay, this mosquito will be a problem. Because I do think he's going for me. And we win. So, as you can see, the bombing isn't something that is very interesting, but it can give you very good profit per game. Well, I do have 25,000 credits for that game. Well, I won't be counting the experience, because I do have the talisman on this uh, B-17, but I do get 25,000 credits. Okay, let's see how much I paid in the repairs okay five or oh, okay almost okay six thousand credits in the repair I do get twenty five thousand so nineteen thousand uh, credits I did earn on that single game okay now I will swap some planes around will remove this G version of the B-17 from my from my hangar and I will try to get to another game maybe some better game to actually show you uh, how the good uh, trained crew as you can see here I do have maxed out my my gunners and I do have maxed out my reload speed so it's on the level of 100 I will show you the difference between those two crews you, you did see them here, which only have 28 uh, in reload speed, so it was the over a minute of the reload. So now let's see what type of improvement we get with the, well, maximum trained crew. So I will be back in the second when I get to the proper ground strike mission. Okay. We did get another ground strike in Alpine Meadows. Well, on this map you can actually see the route that the ground moving units will be taking. And it's indicated by those uh, strings between those points. And you, do can, and you can see that they will meet up here and here. And on those two points you can expect them to, be a to become a stationary targets. So, if you can survive long enough in your bomber to the point of the game where they will be stationary uh, you can drop the bombs very easily and score some good uh, experience and credits for doing that but also remember a valid strategy for a, for a good bomber is to go with the fighter first you go in the fighter you kill some other aircrafts you kill some bombers then you switch out to the uh, to your bombs to your bombers because most of the players will take out their best aircrafts just in the in the beginning of the game so they will try to score as many kills as they can with their best aircrafts with their best crews so they can earn more experience well I will do it exactly the same thing changing the fuel amount to one hour well, it doesn't really matter in the arcade sec in the arcade game, but I will go with that just for the video purposes. 
So at the beginning of the game, it's good to open the map and see the actual stationary ground targets. They will be highlighted on your map and they will be blinking, as you can see, turning from red to yellow. As you can see, oh I don't have the mice option here. Well, in the section of map of the F7, you get one good cluster of the ground targets and then in the straight line on the crossing of the between F and G line and 7 and 6 is another one well you might think okay this is a very good option for me I will try to go there well but also remember you will be very very close to their fighters spawn point and to their airfield so anyone who will be spawning will be going after you Oh, I did pack the wrong bombs to, to my plane. Oh, okay. We'll try to go with that. Well, I do have eight 500 pound bombs and I do usually use eight 1000 pound bombs. But it could be worse. I could have 250 pound bombs in this, in this game, so... Okay, the first cluster of the targets... I'm approaching it now. I don't see any big opposition in here, so I will try to go for all. Okay, my gunners are starting to score some hits. Okay, now I will move, will turn right for those targets at the F6. Well, I do miss the first uh, first column, but I will try to go for another one. Okay, first targets destroyed. So two bombs here, two bombs here, just to be sure. And I won't do anything to that targets. I'm way, of course. So I'll drop the bombs just for the reload. As as you can see, 39 seconds of reload time. that's that's a good timing and by the time I do turn and return to get back on the targets okay few of good hits again uh, I will be reloaded with the over the one minute reload well I do need to spend some more time in going to the straight line and avoiding the the attention of the enemy team so okay let me turn now line up for some another kills this is anti-aircraft and the pillbox so okay I don't think that those bombs will hit my aircraft was a bit shaky from the anti-aircraft fire and flat fire I will drop those bombs anyway And it's time to start moving toward the next targets, which is the cluster over here. Well, I do have three bombs left, so they will need to be a very, very good aim. And let's turn and avoid as much flat fire as you can. And let us see our bombs. You can always get this, uh, this view of the dropping bombs when you press U key on your keyboard by default. Okay, this bomb will be a bit off the target. But yeah, double strike the pillbox is destroyed. So my bombing run was a success. And the next target will be this lineup of the anti aircraft and pillboxes. I am reloaded. I will be turning to the left to get some better lineup for, uh, for those anti aircraft. Uh, 
Okay. My gunners open up on Sam 1. Well, it isn't the perfect lineup for me, but I will try to do my best. Okay, someone else took it out. Okay, so let's move to the moving targets, the tanks. As you can see, I pop up the map to actually see if there's any more of the m uh, ground stationary targets. Well, I don't see any. So I do can start focusing my attention on those moving ones. Well, if I will be, if I have a chance on it. Okay, drop those bombs. And I will turn and head back to get some maybe some support from other other guys and I will try to shoot this guy myself it's always a good thing if you are going for your aim you know the the gunner one as you can see here I did manage to shut him down by shooting on his engine your gunners will just shoot around the plane and hoping for the best <laughs> so you might try to go for for the kill yourself okay let me pop them up again well they do have like one ground targets destroyed as you can see each ticket represent each 100 tickets represent one ground target and we win the game so the good results for us let us see how well or how bad we did in this game okay I am fourth on the on the list with only 11 targets destroyed and one aircraft destroyed but let's see the experience and credits okay the credit wise 37,000 experience that ain't that bad well, basically, I get the 12,000 premium bonus, so that would be like, what, 25,000 credits without the premium. So the score is very, very good. The bombers are great for earning, earning money. So, I did try to, I did show you the game. So now for some final conclusions about about bombing. Well, try to get cover from your from your teammates. Ask for it. You can do it by pressing the T button, which is the uh, default commands or default radio messages to your uh, to your allies. If you are if you see that you are uh, last bomber standing, and the enemy team have like one pillbox to destroy or one destroyer uh, to destroy uh, well don't hesitate ask for your for uh, for cover and uh, from my experience there are always some people in the in the game that will help you that will cover you that will try to take the fire for you or they will try to uh, scare away any potential threats to you because if you are a bomber, you're the only hope to getting those last few points to actually win in the game. So, <coughs> sorry for that. Uh, so, start by getting some stationary ground targets. They are easier to hit and they can be killed with almost any bombs. Then try to go for the moving targets. It's always good to drop uh, for every one tank you want to destroy the every ground moving targets. Well, let's say those are tanks. You will need three bombs and try to drop them in the one to two seconds uh, timing. Because also, as you may, uh, may notice already or you may not, each different type of the bomb have different uh, explosion radius so when you are dropping the 100 pound bombs well the explosion radius isn't that great as you can imagine 
but when you are dropping those 1000 power bombs, well, their explosion radius is great. And you can kill many more targets with just one bomb instead of dropping 5 to 6 1000 pound bombs. So, that would be all for today. In the next video we'll try to get some more in-depth information about the uh, which of the tanks uh, can be destroyed with uh, what bomb with the direct or indirect hits there isn't much information about it as of right now so all of my my research is just in-game thing the the in-game uh, experience that I have and I do like to fly some bombers so so I will try to get as many information, I will try to browse the forums for you and I will try to answer those questions in the next tips video. And again, if you have any questions regarding the game, regarding whatever there is in the game, feel free to ask here in the comments. I will try to get as accurate answer as I can. So that would be all for today. Thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching. Remember, if you do like those videos and you do like this channel and you do like the idea of the tips videos made by me, uh, please subscribe to my channel, like the videos, it will help me a lot. You can also find me on the Twitch TV, the link is uh, in the description, to my, to my channel description, I will also put those links in the uh, in the video description for you. I am usually streaming around 6 p.m. Central Europe time. So if you do like some live action from me, feel free to jump into the channel uh, and watch me playing. And uh, I do tell, I will be making some schedule to fly with you guys. Uh, to do something like the platooning nights, squatting nights uh, or evenings so feel free to leave the comments down below if you will be interested in something like that uh, feel free to ask any questions and please subscribe if you like the channel that would be all for today thank you for tuning in and Iron Rifle out <laughs>